Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your farm-to-table Bible study in a place that we like to call the Bible Bistro. So come on in here. It's a little place of our own imagination, an interior castle, if you will. Come in here, sit down, and uh, let's look at the Word of God today. Hope you'll study it with me today as we go five minutes of some organic, artisanal Bible study. Speaking of organic and artisanal, I hope that you will go out and get a copy of my latest published work. It's called Christianity to the Life. It's a book by Cotton Mather that I have transcribed and added my own introduction to. It's on Amazon. You can get it as a paperback or for the Kindle. It's really great. If you like devotional reading, you will love Christianity to the Life. It will challenge you, and it addresses a lot of issues, especially for men, I think, and also for pastors. It's very good for the pastoral ministry. Well, let's look today at verse 8 in Psalm 82. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. All right, so we have some things here that we haven't really had uh, throughout the body of the psalm, but we have themes that are mentioned here, which I think really kind of tie together the psalm in a nice package. First time we had the word God was there in verse 1. Capital G, Arise, O God. In verse 1, we had God standeth in the congregation of the mighty, or the assembly of God. So we know where that is. We know who we're talking about. Now we end with speaking of the same person, Arise, O God. And then we have that verb that we've seen throughout this particular psalm, judge. He judgeth amongst the gods. He will. How long will ye judge unjustly? Do justice to the afflicted. Again, here, Arise, O God, judge. The thing that's going to be judged is the earth. Well, I don't think he's talking about the earth itself, the planet. I think he's talking about those that inhabit the earth. And if we go back into the psalm and we think about God judging, well, let's look at verses 3 and 4. Because he asks the church, how long are you going to judge unjustly except the person of the wicked? Well, if God does that work, what's going to happen? He's going to defend the poor and the fatherless. He's going to do justice to the afflicted and the needy. He's going to deliver the poor and the needy and rid them out of the hand of the wicked. God's going to do that work. Why? Because all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Sin has corrupted the way. And so we need a holy God to step in and do this work. Arise, O God, judge the earth. The church is trying its best, but we don't always get it right. The scripture says here, God, come in and judge. Do the work. Always defend the poor. Always do justice to the afflicted. Always defend the needy. Always rid them out of the hand of the wicked. And so the prayer at the end of the psalm is, God, come and do this work. And then we have this last phrase, for thou shalt inherit all nations. I would like to suggest my own translation here. For you, yes, you have an inheritance in all the nations. Now, the reason I suggest that is because the way that's written, the preposition is not translated by the King James, that is, in all the nations. I would suggest, and we have this emphasis, this double emphasis of that second person pronoun, for you, surely you will inherit in all the nations, or you, surely you will have an inheritance in all the nations. And that inheritance that he will have, what is that? I think that's the church. Out of every tribe, tongue, and language, we're going to have people that enter into the kingdom of God, that sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because God has an inheritance. And it's not things, and it's not a place. He owns all that anyway. What it will be, will be all those who've trusted in him from all those nations all over the world. I hope you'll join me again next week, and we'll look at Psalm 83 on Daily Dose Radio. Hey there, friends. Just wanted to remind you to go out and get yourself a copy of my new book, Christianity to the Life, by Cotton Mather, edited by me, David Smith. You can find it at Amazon. It's a paperback. It's also in Kindle form, so you can get it for your Kindle or you can get it for your library at home. 
however you'd like to have it. If you do, I really would appreciate if you would write a review after reading it. Let me know what you think. And it's a really good book. It'll encourage your Christian walk with the Lord. So go out and get Christianity to the Life today on Amazon. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.